Hey, this is Mike with uh, Half Hippie Acres. And I realized this morning when I was editing that uh, timber framing video that it was mostly just like a bystander's view. Didn't really take any time to explain what we were doing at all. So I uh, figured I'd come back out today and do a quick, quick one on uh, some of the details of this thing and kind of explain exactly what we're doing. So welcome to our first official erection on the property. It's uh, 11 feet tall or so in the front and about 7 in the back. Be a nice shed roof on it. Keep the rain and snow at bay. It's uh, 13 feet wide and 10 feet deep. Tons of room for all our junk. Fell a big cottonwood. Wood. From right next door to the, where the shed is now. It's pretty sustainable. Milled a bunch of timbers. Five by seven posts and beams. It's totally Jesse's design, sweet mortise and tenon design. So we cut the mortises and tenons out with chainsaws and chisels. And it worked out really nice. I'll give you a detail view in a sec here, some of the uh, joinery. Everything is square and plumb. I can vouch for that myself. I've spent a lot of time with a tape measure and a plumb stick on this thing, making sure so that the uh, siding and roofing and everything is gonna be nice and easy. And then as you can see, we've got braces running all over the place in here just to keep it square and straight. She's rock solid. Here's a shot of some of the joinery, mortise and tenons. Since we cut it all out with a chainsaw, it's not airtight, but it's perfectly strong and it all fits just good enough for an equipment shed. You can see here just where it was appropriate. I made a few uh, maple dowels, three quarter inch. And we doweled our tenons into the mortises. Just a nice little, nice touch. Just like they used to do it. The foundation, so to speak, are these big timbers, like eight by eight or so. And we pounded them into the ground and leveled them up with the backhoe. Should sit pretty still. So that's the equipment shed. Next will be a roof and then uh, some siding and on to the next project. So there's the mill and on the other side of it, Jesse's building a sweet little uh, outhouse, three walled outhouse that we're gonna park just in the trees behind there. Uh, Titley dug a hole. future site of many unseemly developments. It's gonna work out real nice. Wrapping up the outhouse pretty soon. Is it uh, fur framed? And then fur siding up to this point. We've got a couple nice pieces of alder. It's a beautiful color in them, something to look at. And then above that will be cottonwood. Cottonwood seat. And a cottonwood seat. No splinters. That's the best. That's the best material for your outhouse seat. In case you're wondering, cottonwood. No splinters. Splinter free. Very important.
Not a bad view of the river uh, from your throne. I need another cup of coffee. <laughs> We got the rafters up on the roof uh, and I got the bird mouse all laid out. Uh, I'll show you that. So this is what they call a bird's mouth. Uh, because the roof is sitting on an angle like this, these guys don't sit nice and flat on top of the rafter or on top of the beams. So in the rafter, you cut this out. I had them all sitting exactly where they're going to live so it makes it really easy to lay it out. And you just basically measure up exactly how deep it needs to go in so that this sits nice and flush. Just grab some lines and we'll cut them out. So what you got there are the uh, spoils of your chainsaw carpentry. Close. So I got the rafters all nailed off and uh, then we're going to mill up some full dimension 2 or 3 by 4s to span the distances there and they're going to hold up uh, hopefully some tin roofing. Um, we get a lot of snow here so tin lets the snow just slide right off. And you don't have to worry about having six or eight feet of heavy wet snow sitting on top of your structure. The outhouse is looking awesome. Shiplap style roof. Siding's almost up. Jesse's working on a sweet half moon. How about it? Sitting on a couple of solid pieces of cottonwood. I'll take it. Nice little view of the river. Ever seen a better throne? What do you got there? Oh, little classic moon. For the shit hose. What are you, Turkish? Looking official, boy. That's the piece of the resistance. Job done? Pretty near. Think about Abby. The rest of the cottonwood on the side of the bench there. But, you know, if you had to take a shit right now, it's fully functional. It's fully functional. <laughs> it's hooked up. She's, the plumbing's hooked up, bud. <laughs>